Oh, I got my uh, new bilge pump all set up here. The seat is in the front of the pedestal, or the switch is, excuse me. Straps are in, there's my knee pads. The wiring loom is still loose. I haven't I haven't actually fastened it. It's right, it's this yellow line right here. I'll fasten it here to the base with a couple of connectors. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Underneath the foot ped peds he pegs here. This rear block is the rear foam block for the base of the, the pedals. And then what I have is the battery is holding down everything. The pump is underneath the battery, wedged in. I got a piece of three-quarter ID tubing coming out of here. And of course my, my connections, I have a quick connect from Caterpillar I've put on here. Makes it real fast and easy. I just got to secure all this with zip ties. And it will be totally out of my way and easy to use. But most importantly, I've put in uh, about 20 gallons of water into this. Let's see how it works. Quick flip of a switch and 500 gallons an hour. Pretty simple. It's not really that loud either. See how fast the water goes down here. And it's dropping fairly quickly. I figure this is about the amount of water I have when I uh, when I roll back up what's in the boat. And uh, I figure it'll take about a minute and a half, two minutes to pump this out. Faster than a hand bilge pump, that's for sure. Got uh, about $15 in the pump, about 20 bucks in the battery. The switch was surplus, I had for free. The wiring was free. The bracket was free. The strap was an outdoor research strap I already had. Uh, all the wiring was totally free. I had to buy the tube, the pump, the battery. That's all I bought. Oh, I bought the pass-through connector also for the hole. Pretty simple. <laughs> 